Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, uh, today I want to show a little bit about how we create wireframes. Um, uh, from this, here's here's our here's our model. Uh, this is a low poly version of it. And notice that we have these wireframes over here. So we're using uh, this uh, vacuum shaders wireframe tool. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Here, uh, here it is shown on the, at the store right here. You can look. This is what it's called, Wireframe Shader, the amazing Wireframe Shader by Vacuum Shaders, uh, and it's, it's a great tool. So, so the idea is it will take any geometry that's outside of the main, the main uh, area of the screen, and we're going to make it wireframe so it can give a context of where everything is being located, right? So I've already done one here. You can see what it looks like. You can kind of see through it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do another one. So let's take uh, let's take this building right here. It's a long barrack. So this is my low poly version. I'm going to change this name since it's a prefab and call it WF as a wireframe. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I'll go into my Alamo shaders here, and I've got one called Alamo wireframe. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, it's basically using the um, it's using this, uh, we're using the mobile version, so we're using uh, uh, Unlit is what we're using on this. And so, um, and rendering mode is transparent, we render only the wire, call the back, that means we don't, we don't see the whole wire, well, at least we call the back sides. Uh, and color of the wireframes and all that. So once we set this up, we can, of course, edit it, and it, edit, it changes everything that we're seeing. So, so uh, as I said before, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select this object, which is the, the low bar long barracks. I'm going to... Go ahead and select all of these. These are all the meshes inside that. I'm going to drag this, um, uh, the Alamo uh, wireframe material over here, over into the inspector. And now we've basically given that uh, those materials. Now, while this is selected, I'm going to, I'm going to basically uh, open up the wireframe generator. Uh, let's go to this window, vacuum shaders, wireframe generator. Uh, and here's what that that looks like and so we've got all these already selected as you can see and I'm gonna say let's use these selected objects <clears throat> we want to generate quads on this and I'll hit the generate button and it'll process these and as it's processing them it's actually creating uh, new meshes for these and they're low poly so it's not a big it's not too big a hit here so uh, once this is done uh, you can see that they're already generated uh, and you can see now that we have uh, it stored at the wireframe. Now we're not done yet. So what I need to do now is I'm going to need to do a couple things. One is that it created all these new meshes in this temporary. So I'm going to click here, this temporary folder, and I'm going to take this temporary folder and I'm going to click on it and rename it. You know this because I can't I can't do them all at once. I want to make sure that I can keep them in the same in the same hierarchy that we're doing for our, our prefabs. So here I have my prefabs. Here's my arch low. Uh, in my arch high, you can see I've got basically the same prefabs in both high and low polys, and then the wireframe one. So I'll take this long barrack wireframe, drop it into here, so now I have a prefab of that, and uh, and that's it. So that's really the the pretty much the workflow. Once I'm completely done, I'm going to take uh, uh, all of these. Uh, I'll take these. I'm going to create an uh, in my modeler in my model folder. Let's see where are those. That will be right here. Models. And I'll create a new folder called wireframes, and there it is. Uh, and I'll take the uh, uh, the W Barracks wireframe and the Long Barracks wireframe. I'll just stick these folders in there. These are where the meshes are, so we'll store store them there. So that's pretty much it. It's done. I uh, hope that makes sense. See you. Bye.